When a beautiful young lady and her ostensibly violent husband move in next door, a middle-aged man's life is turned upside down as his interest in her life grows into an obsession. Well, they do say that every obsession lives next door to someone. Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we'll be going through the 2017 thriller romance film The Neighbor. It's time to recall. Let's get started, turn on subtitles, and spoilers ahead. The film starts with a shot of the neighborhood and then moves to a bedroom where an alarm clock is ringing. Mike is shown in bed. He turns off the clock and gets out of bed. Mike then goes to make himself some coffee. He then sits down to work on his laptop, but something in the window catches his eye and he gets up to see a young lady who is apparently moving into the house next door. He walks out to take a look and the lady's apparent husband arrives in a sports car. He gets out of the car, kisses his wife, and then comes to meet Mike. He also calls his wife Jenna to greet Mike. They have a pleasant conversation, and Mike even invites them to a barbecue as a welcome to the neighborhood. Scott, the neighbor's husband, then hands Mike his number and asks Mike to call him whenever the plan is final. In a later scene, Mike's wife Lisa arrives and he tells her about the new neighbors. He tells her about the invitation, she is annoyed by the prospect, and says that he should have asked her first. Mike says that he could call it off, but his wife says it's okay. Later at the barbecue, a number of neighbors are invited. This is the first time Jenna and Mike properly have an interaction. She comes to him for a steak, and he asks her about how long they've been married. Jenna replies that they've been married for four months but had been in a relationship for a long time. Jenna also asks Mike about what he does and even asks him to come over to take a look at their backyard as it's a mess. Later that day, Mike and Lisa talk about the couple and it seems that Mike doesn't like Scott as he thinks that he's a jerk. On the other hand, Lisa thinks he's funny but Mike negates the compliment. That night, Mike is working in his study when he goes to the window. He sees Jenna and her husband having sex. He continues to watch but Scott closes the blinds in their room. Mike then goes to bed and tries to initiate sex with his wife, but she tells him that she's not in the mood. The next day, Mike goes to look through his window on and off and sees Jenna in the backyard. He goes over and starts talking about their backyard. He advises her about the backyard and tells her that he will even help her with selecting the plants for the garden. Jenna asks him about his family and he tells her that he has a son who is probably about her age. Jenna then talks to him about her own life and that she doesn't want children right now. The two flirt a little and then Mike says he needs to get back to work, but before he leaves, Jenna reminds him that he will have to go to the nursery with her. Later that night, Mike is once again working when he sees his neighbors fighting. It turns out that Scott is in fact an abusive husband and all is not well in their marriage. The neighbors go on, but Mike continues to look out the window. The next day, a friend of Mike's visits and they see Jenna taking out the weeds in her backyard. Mike's friend comments that she is the perfect girl for Mike. When Mike is hesitant, he says that there's no way Mike has not thought of ever sleeping with her. He then asks Mike why he hasn't cheated on his wife yet, but Mike just brushes off these comments. He even tries to convince Mike by telling his own tales of infidelity. The man even says that if he hadn't done these things, he would have probably killed his wife or himself. Mike refuses to do anything, but it seems that the idea of sleeping with Jenna appealed to him. That night, he has sex with his wife, and during the intercourse, he imagines Jenna instead of his wife. The next day, Mike is once again looking out the window and observes Scott and Jenna as they play around with each other. The couple is sitting next to the pool, Jenna wearing a swimsuit and Scott repeatedly touching her butt. Mike continues to observe this, but then he gets up and he goes to his garden to pick out vegetables and once again hears the neighbors fighting. He continues to hear them fight and hears a loud thump. He sneakily peers over the fence, but they have already gone into their house. That night, Mike's son comes home and they greet each other. After dinner, he once again goes to his study and peers through the window and sees the neighbors having a romantic dinner in their backyard. Next day, Mike and Scott have a pleasant interaction where Scott tries to make him buy a better car. He also sees Jenna going out for yoga. Mike then goes grocery shopping and calls his friend. He goes to a bar and tells him about the neighbor's abusive marriage and says that he should intervene. But his friend just says that Mike is interested in Jenna. He comes home to see Scott is over and is talking to his son and wife. He invites them to come over for a swim. Both Mike and Lisa say that they have work to do, but their son says that he's free. Mike is working in his study room when he starts peeping through the window and sees Jenna in a two-piece taking a swim with his son. He then goes down to the kitchen and tells his wife that Scott isn't a good person. His wife is confused about what her husband is talking about, but Mike just says that Alex should be more careful around them, but Lisa says that they should trust their son as he's a good judge of character. Sometime later, Mike is in the kitchen and sees Jenna trying to throw a box into the trash. He goes out and offers her help. He then talks about the fight they had the other day. Jenna says that the fight was about nothing and that Scott is stressed. She told him that he should watch his anger while he's drinking, but Mike said that he should not drink then. 
The two get to talking but are interrupted by Alex, who says that maybe they could use a hand. Mike is then shown working when he receives a call from Jenna, who asks him if he's going to go with her to the nursery. During the trip, Mike starts telling her a funny story which gets Jenna laughing, and they both talk about smoking some pot. Mike agrees and they go over to her house to smoke. Both of them get to smoking, and Mike comments that he's never been this high. Jenna says that she doesn't do this very often as it makes her nervous, but she feels calm around Mike. As she goes to get some drinks, Mike continues to stare at her back. The two then start talking, and Jenna tells him that Scott always had a temper and that it scares her. She also says that she didn't want to marry him at first and she is now wondering if it was the right thing to do. Mike advises her that she shouldn't have kids with him as it won't be the wise thing to do. Jenna then says that this marriage was a mistake and Mike says that whatever she decides, he'll be there to help her. Jenna then hugs Mike and starts crying as he comforts her. The two end up kissing, but Jenna suddenly stops. There's an awkward pause and Mike gets up saying that he should probably go. Jenna calls to him and he turns, they look at each other and Mike walks off. Later that night, Lisa tells Mike that she might start yoga as Jenna has offered to take her there. His wife starts to tease him about Jenna, saying that Mike might have a crush on her, but he gets annoyed and says that she shouldn't make this about him, then shuts off the lamp and goes to sleep as his wife's smile fades. Mike is once again working in his office when he starts to check out the neighbors who are hanging out with Alex. At dinner, Mike shares his reservations about Alex meeting with Scott, but Lisa becomes annoyed. The next day, he hears the neighbors fighting once again and hears Jenna screaming while something breaks. He jumps over the fence and goes to their house and sees a broken vase and sees Scott talking on the phone. He tells him that he heard fighting and came over to see if everyone was alright. Scott gets angry at Mike and asks him if he wants to have sex with his wife. Mike then goes out and says that Scott is an asshole. He goes to his house and tells his wife about everything that had happened and she gets annoyed and tells him that he should not get involved and should have called the police instead. Mike responds that he was just trying to help someone. Later that night, his wife comes to him and tells him she cannot deal with whatever is going on with Mike and that she needs him to leave the house. Mike spends the night on the couch and then packs a suitcase to go away. As he is about to leave, he goes over to Jenna's house and knocks on the door. He asks Jenna if she's alright. She responds that she's okay and is going to leave Scott and move to San Diego. Mike then tells her that he, too, is also leaving and she's welcome to stay with him whenever he finds some place to live. Jenna tells him that this really might not be the right thing to do and thanks him for all his help. Mike then goes to a motel and calls his son and tells him about their separation. Alex tells him that Lisa says he is having a midlife crisis, but Mike tells him that he should take care of his mother and should spend time with her. Mike is visited by his friend who says that he needs to get on some dating sites, but Mike says that he might be able to make it with Lisa, but his friend continues to say that he should get out there and find some other woman. Mike tells her that Jenna is gone, but his friend informs him that he just saw her at a gas station with her husband. This troubles Mike and he starts stalking Jenna's online profile. He later drives back home and knocks at the door, but seeing that no one is home, he goes inside with flowers. But he suddenly hears laughter and sees Jenna sitting with Alex. He looks over the fence and calls Alex to help him out with something. Jenna comes over and they talk to each other and say that leaving town wasn't a good idea, so she decided to stick around. Jenna also tells him that Alex is kind of sweet and kind of reminds her of him. She says that she's pregnant and that things are looking better. Jenna then goes away. Mike goes inside the house and starts making dinner for his wife so that they can talk about everything that is happening with them. Lisa says that it's not a good time and that he should leave. She then leaves the house. Mike has to eat by himself and as he is about to leave, he spots Jenna having a smoke. He goes to her and says that it's probably not good for the baby. Scott comes shouting outside and tells her that she should get inside. He sees her smoking a cigarette and smacks it out of her hands. He then tries to grab her to force her inside as she tries to free herself. At that point, Mike tries to intervene, but Scott shouts at him and says that he's been sleeping with his wife. He then throws a can of beer at Mike's feet and grabs Jenna by the arm and forces her to go inside. But Mike intervenes and pushes him away. Scott gets up and punches Mike in the face and then takes Jenna inside. Mike is stunned, but he manages to get up. He then rushes inside to save Jenna. He sees Jenna pushed against the kitchen counter and he then shouts at Scott to leave the house. But Scott hits him in the face once again and as Mike tries to get up, he pushes him down once again. Scott then shouts at Jenna and blames everything on her. Meanwhile, Mike has managed to get his hands on a gold club and he uses that to hit Scott, which knocks him out. Jenna is stunned by what just happened and she shouts at Mike to get out of the house and then grabs her phone to call an ambulance for her husband. Mike slowly walks to his house, he looks at himself in the mirror and then slowly walks to his backyard. He continues to walk towards the vegetables that he has planted and picks out a tomato. As he grabs it in his hand, lost in thought, he hears sirens approaching. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get new movie recaps.